Hi guys, this is Superboo3 and we're continuing on the dynamic arc. This is part two. And we're just gonna head to Corinth Tower right now. Ooh. So then I I wonder if we're going to meet Goku now. ごちそうさまでした。え。誰だお前。俺が美食屋トリコだ。I wonder if we're going to fight Tariko now then. Shokun. That's a Yu Yu Hakusha guy. Yusuke, that was it. Yours. I think that kid from Hunter X Hunter. I've no clue who that guy is though. The one on the right that was. That guy looks like Zoro, <laughs> the kid. Yeah. 
そうだ教えよう行くがよい I guess we should go to these yellow bits first. I'm also curious what's at this blue arrow y thing. Oh. oh, dark dimension. Okay, let's go here first. That's just annoying. Uh, I'll go through that dark portal thing later. Let's see if we can go to any of these other places. I wonder if we go to somewhere that isn't actually marked. a lot guys. Alright, so let's go and to this swift attack area. I think we're going to fight as Luffy this time. That guy looks freaky. Stages in this are beautiful. This guy's really not putting up much of a fight. Although I would do wonder if these quests are going to end up being considerably easier missions than the other ones. I'm assuming that we get a damage buff and speed boost when we use the gear second. I'm not sure if we've actually even seen Luke's ultimate yet. Oh. Rico's over here, so I'm gonna go get him. That elephant gun. Whoa, elephant got me. I find the actual four player battles a bit too hectic as well. I'm having to deal with uh, getting hit in the back 
I guess this would be a lot easier two player and you can actually play the story mode in two player which I think is a very nice touch so you can actually I assume it's split screen uh, I will try it out at some point There's another quest over here, so let's go to that. I think I'm talking about bow bo bo <laughs> It doesn't seem to be a fast ship travel, but anyway, yeah, so we're going to go down to the southwest now. It's a shame that whenever they do these kind of games at the storyline is always something like um, a tournament. Oh. And I guess one of the only ways I could have had a context, but it would have been nice if they just had a common enemy to defeat or something. Ah. Ah. Oh. His voice doesn't sound like what I've expected. Shirohige Kaizokudan Nibantai Taicho, Hiken no Esta. Oreva Nigemo Kakremo Shirai. Isemo Koi. Sorry, I'm just leaving the intros on for most of the characters until they stop seeming like unique ones. Yigre! Bow, bow, bow. From what I remember this was, I never actually w properly watched this, but this was a guy who attacked people with his nose hairs and he grew them really long. It's a two-on-one fight though, so this shouldn't be too difficult whatsoever. That was a uh, tag move, by the way. Alright, so he's run off. I won't know, he's here. The radar's actually helpful, and you got to remember that as long as they appear on the radar, you can lock onto them. I wonder if there's a way to convince Ace to do his super instead of us. Lock it. 
負けられねえ海賊王に俺はなる The fact Luffy's Gatling looks that awesome just makes me wonder how awesome Kinshiro's move's gonna look. Yoosh! Anyway, so I think I want to explore what that dark portal is before I go over to the main quest again. Most people are curious about it as well. Ooh, is that the boon? Oh, we can't talk to him. Shame. I also assume the other one's the knock up stream. Good, there are quests on this side as well. Looks like a seeking over there. Why everyone looks so miserable in this? Like all of the character portraits don't look too happy. get the context of these battle trainings because they don't seem to be teaching me anything. I think after this fight I'm going to mix up my team again. I think this is the Soul Society. I feel kind of bad hitting a little kid in the back there, but what are you going to do? I think Luffy's only 19 at this point, anyways. I remember it was only 17 at the beginning of One Piece. I 
think the cool thing with Luffy's move is it seems if you power them up, he ends up doing the jet version of them. Whoa. What the? Yeah, because it turns into jet gap like that. Right, let's see how Ace is doing against Goku and let's finish him off. Thereby settling the debate of who's stronger, Luffy or Goku. Luffy, Goku and Taroki were in that um, crossover anime as well. I didn't actually watch it myself. I guess we're going to need these items later on. Right, I'm probably going to do the next quest because we haven't done anything of the main quest really today. And then um, I'll probably stop there because I'm just trying to make the videos not longer than 30 minutes. over this way. Oh, it's Jojo. Joseph Joestar. Jojo te on the grey. I decided to switch to Ace for this fight. Joestar, Joseph Joestar, Jojo, te on the grey. The poses from Jojo just crack me up so much. Right, let's see what you got, Jojo. He's getting wrecked. Oh, his moves got some insane knockback on them. Where's he gone? Alright, oh, you can't actually. Um, you actually have to wait for them to come to you. You do that R1 circle with you. Ace. Not too big a fan of that. Shut 
This is what he does against Blackbeard. And I miss completely. Awesome. And I can't use it again. That's a disaster. Oh well, I've won either way. Hopefully we unlock him. Oh, he didn't join us. Anyway, so... I guess that wasn't the actual story event. Oi! Oh, that's Dr. Slump. Oh, okay, so, you know what, I think I'm going to do a quick, I think I'll actually stop there. And I'll take a quick look around and make sure that we haven't done any, we haven't missed any chests. Uh, quest. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and until next time, bye.